57 thrillers on the New York Times bestseller list, and her loyal readers are in for a change of pace with her new novel. It's called Rainwater, and it's based on her family struggles during the Depression. Just to have all of the success and then decide at this point, I'm going to do something a little different. And it was a, it was a challenge and also kind of a risk because my publisher's so accustomed to yeah. publishing a thriller. They want the other stuff. And my readers are so accustomed to reading yeah. thrillers, but it's been warmly embraced. Where do you find your ideas? Or do they just Sometimes land? they find me. Oh, very good. Yeah, sometimes yeah. they find me. In the case of Rainwater, it yeah. really, it's a story that found me. this comes out of your grandparents' story? Yes. Yeah. My father told me the story because he was six years old mm -hmm. when this incident happened. Yeah. It was during the and Depression. Yes, 1934. They're dairy farmers, and, uh -huh. and what happened? Well, there was a federal program in place to kind of remove uh, surplus commodities off the open market and mm -hmm. help drive up the price. Right. My father milked cows every day. Right. He sold to large dairies and they were demanding that he pour out his surplus milk. The surplus milk. Granddad was giving away the milk. Uh -huh to starving families in yeah. his area. Yeah. So armed federal agents <laughs> showed up on the farm and he and my gun-toting relatives, yeah. they had a standoff. Without a shot ever being fired, sure. however, um, the federal agents backed down, went away, and, and uh, Grandpa kept giving away his surplus milk. I'm gonna guess that. I mean, here you are, you're gonna write about the Depression. Right. But this, when did you start writing this book? Not a year ago when the bottom fell out of the it economy. It was about six months prior to the bottom falling out. Right. I started writing it in uh, the spring of 2008, mm -hmm. squeezing it between my books that I had mm -hmm. under contract. Right, right, right. And I thought, oh, this story is just so compelling, and it was insisting that mm -hmm. it be told. Yeah. And uh, so I said, I'm just going to open it up and see what happens. And I got into it. And as I say, the story found me. It just unfolded more yeah. or less on its own. I was the messenger. Sure. Um, but um, then every time I, I had to stop working on it to fulfill my contract book, I'd miss it, mm. and I'd go back to it. And little did I know when I began writing it that six months later the bottom Bob was going fall. to fall and, out of and our the story economy. would be even more so relevant. Than, yeah, yes, yeah, so yeah. relevant. Wow. Well, we're so thrilled that you're here. Thank Tim you, Brown. Harry. Thank you very, very much. And if you would like to read an excerpt from Rainwater, just go to our website. That's earlyshow.cbsnews.com.